Hey guys, this is your mid-month reading. I have a Romance Angels card uh, laid down here to look at after uh, your reading and um, see if we get an added message or we get a message that is totally separate from what your reading um, tells us. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I will say that uh, as I was pre-shuffling, the Three of Wands just jumped out, Aries energy. Um, either somebody's waiting on you or you guys are waiting on someone. And then as I, as I continue to shuffle, there were other cards that jumped out. I think it was like the Six of, uh, flipped over actually, um, the Six of Pentacles, Temperance, Four of Swords, and um, let's see, Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, forget what other card it was but um, it's like I think that you guys were actually waiting on someone or they were waiting on you but I think this person um, needs to see that you guys are wanting to take some responsibility or you're wanting to see if they would take some responsibility and then I think you guys would meet them halfway or vice versa however it goes um, because I do get that uh, somebody really wants to spend time with you guys here or you want to spend time with them this energy goes vice versa I always read from your point of view but um, I hope you guys are keeping in mind that even if this is not you then this is the other person okay um, because I'm reading for you, but the, the energy is just here. So I'm reading the energy actually, but it's your reading. Okay, guys. So let's see what's going on with you guys here. Ten of Chalices. Hmm. Family. This is what's on your mind. Being happy. Being totally, utterly fulfilled emotionally. This is what's on your mind. Piscean energy. What's crossing my Gemini's? Two of Pentacles. What to do? Capricorn energy here. What do you do? You have to decide what is a priority for you and how to balance your priorities. Because if you don't find balance, then things could go haywire. So this is all about figuring out what um, what is best for you what do you hold near and dear and what is important to you okay with that what is the underlying issue here for Gemini's Knight of Chalices facing the past with a cup in hand so I'm getting that this is offering yourself offering your emotions being present and being active for you to be an air sign there's no source here right now which is not a horrible thing um, I think you a lot of you guys are actually in your feelings right now you really are um, and, and trying to figure out these feelings and what to do with them so I don't really see any action being taken because, you know, this is an active um, cups card with the knight being present. So I don't really feel like uh, you guys are doing anything to, like, make the situation go one way or the other. I do feel like another issue here was the fact that maybe you guys didn't tell this person that you love them or maybe you didn't show your emotions a whole lot um and and that became an issue with them okay cancer scorpio pisces energy in the recent past for gemini <clears throat> six of swords i think you guys moved on but the Six of Swords does not come without hurt, okay? Uh, this, is, this is when you move on and you don't necessarily want to move on, but you feel like this is what's best. It's best for your mental, okay? You know you can't stay stuck. And so you have to find some kind of way to be able to cope. And I think, you know, this is what you've been forced to do is basically to move on. You, can't, you know you can't stay stuck. So it's like, I have no choice. 
Some of you have actually moved on and you are in other relationships. Okay? Somebody hurts you and you're in um, another relationship currently, but you're still kind of thinking about the other one in the back of your head, the past relationship, um, and trying to figure out like, you know, what to do because you still have feelings for someone else. Okay. <clears throat> Aquarius energy there. Crowning thoughts for Gemini. Five of wands. You're conflicted about what to do. I do get that um, there is maybe there's two people that's vying for your attention or two people are on your mind. Okay. And it is messing with you a little bit. And I think that um, you still have strong feelings for someone else here. And maybe the someone else also is involved with someone you feel like you have to contend for their love or contend for their affection. Um, yeah. But there's a struggle going on. That's Leo energy up there. There is a struggle going on for sure within you because I think the issue with the past relationship was the fact that you guys, um, they didn't feel like they were getting enough of an emotional connection from you guys. What's coming in for Gemini? Presses of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Huh, there is somebody looking for you. There is somebody looking for you. I don't see this person doing anything. I see them having emotions for you. I see them waiting to converse with you. I see this person um, uh, basically having gifts in hand. And, and maybe not physical gifts, but it, it may be something that uh, you've been wondering about. And you didn't know if, if it was still there. I think whatever that is, is still there. I see um, a lot with this Princess of Wands energy. Okay. Um, if this person was unemotional before, they are definitely, um, they definitely have emotions. I don't see them taking, you know, the action though. I see them more so waiting on you guys for some reason. They're waiting to hear something from you. Maybe maybe what your choice is if they know that there's somebody else in the picture. Um, I do feel like if there's somebody else in the picture for them, that that would be like, hands down, you would be the one. Um, and I'm just telling you the real, the real shit, okay? Is what I see. And of course, this is not going to be a reading for everyone. But... Um, it feels like if you guys are not speaking, that you guys are over here doing one thing. And then what they're doing over here is like parallel to the shit that you guys are doing. So even if there is someone else in a picture, I feel like both of you guys are thinking about each other. But wanting each other to make the first move is what I'm getting here. Okay. So yeah. How is Gemini viewing this situation? The will of fortune or the will. Huh? There's something changing in you. There's definitely something changing in you. Um, some of you guys feel like the situation that you're currently in is what's best for you. Um, that is probably different than what you've experienced before. But again, there are some of you that um feel like the situation is is changing like there's something about um your whole situation that is changing if you and a past person are not together for whatever reason then i feel you guys you know you're wanting it to like turn around you're wanting to see you know a change in that situation Sagittarius, Piscean energy. What's the influence here for Gemini? Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. 
somebody walked away from the situation somebody felt like they weren't getting what they needed and left this situation I believe one of you physically left and the other one had no choice but to like let it go it's done it's over because it, you know just staying stuck in those feelings you know that doesn't serve anybody and so I think the person that initially walked away is the one that's actually coming back because they set this whole chain of events off so I think you know this person's gonna have to fix this and they know this okay so even though both of you are like thinking about each other and maybe a separate like connections currently I do feel like the person that actually walked away that person is coming back it's just taking some time here okay <clears throat> hopes or fears for Gemini King of Cups a lot of water here lots of water in your reading Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy hmm I think that you guys um, you want an emotionally stable relationship and I feel that you're hoping that things will uh, be different and consistent is what I'm getting here on an emotional level. Hmm. Because maybe, you know, the individual that's in question is, um, they don't come across as like stable emotionally one minute they may be like all in love with you and the next minute they you know can stay away for weeks at a time and you you know ghost you not you know you not hear from them you know that type of person and I'm thinking that you're you're looking for more stability you're looking for emotional health um yeah in in your partner okay what is the outcome here for a Gemini Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. Hmm. I think there is a boredom. I think there is um, a, a want for somebody to fight for you guys. Uh, show you that, you know, you're what they want. You're wanting to see some kind of action some kind of excitement coming from this person a drive to fight for you if you are what they want cancer energy hmm some of you also are going to be in a situation where people are like vying for your attention and f literally like you know arguing over you Yeah. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye. My apologies, guys. I clicked off the video just that quickly. And when I got ready to like gather the cards up and, you know, do my little meditative shuffling. Here we go. I see the Romance Angels card is still lying face down on the table. So let's go ahead and turn your card over and see what message we get for you guys here. Okay. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Hmm. So, you know what I said before that, you know, everything in the reading is just energy. And um, what I may be saying that you guys are doing, the other person may be doing this, okay? So, if you guys feel like, you know, you didn't give it your all before, um, maybe this is your chance to actually show, you know, a little flirtiness. Um, if you felt like maybe you came across disinterested or whatever, this is your time, okay? Um, but if this is for a new connection then I mean the same still applies so show some flirtatious um, ness and um, some lightheartedness and interest okay so that is what I have for you guys and um, yeah that's it